Wanna go? and God into that circle uh, so it would be a holy place for them to demonstrate for the Creator their songs and dances and also asking the Creator if He would bless that circle and bless each and every person that come inside of that circle to dance. Now you see Jamie's outfit here. Now folks, this is better known to us as a regalia. Now each and every dancer makes their own. A lot of time, a lot of hard work and a lot of patience goes into making one of these because it can sometimes take a dancer up to six months to a whole year to complete one. And they use these bright colors in their outfits also. What they're doing is trying to catch the judge's eye at these powwows because these judges look not only uh, look at their dancing but they also look at their outfits and how much time and uh, you know how much workmanship is put into it. They give these dancers extra points on their score. Folks, I tell you what, every single point out there, you know, you're trying to get as many as you can before the end of the powwow. Also, Jamie has on bells. Now, these bells, they are really important to these dancers because they help them keep in time with the beat of this groom. Now, folks, that is one major factor at our powwows today. You must keep in time with the beat of this drum, and you must stop when this drum stops. Now, if not, you could be automatically disqualified or from your category of dancing. And these judges, they do keep a really close eye on these dancers. You know, if they stop too early or too late, they'll be right there start taking the points away from that dancer's score 
Now one point taken away from your score, that could determine whether you win first, second, third place, or if you just go on back home empty-handed. So you know, that's another thing. When you come out to compete to be a champion, not only must you dance really well, but you also must know these songs and you gotta know when to stop. And I also wanna say, folks, there is a lot of different drum groups out there. From all different tribes, you know, and they all, uh, they all compose their own songs. You know, so uh, like I was saying, the only way for these dancers here you know, to be champions and stay that way is to, to try to go to as many powwows, you know, as possible, trying to keep track of these new drum groups and their new songs. And also they do spend a lot of their money on CDs, trying to keep track of these new drum groups and their new songs that they compose. But uh, Jamie Faison here, he is a champion. He's gonna come out and share with you what is known as his style of the men's grass dance. <coughs> Some dance in there, the dances. But I want to tell you, you know, this guy here, he doesn't get paid by this craft shop, this government, or this tribe. But the only pay he receives is through the kindness and generosity that's in your heart. So at this time, I'm going to ask him if he'll come around with a basket. That, well, you know, we do not charge an admission for our shows because that wouldn't be right. Uh, that would be just like us trying to sell medicine to you. And that is not the right thing to do, and it's not the right way to go about it. Uh, but we do work on a tip and donation type basis and Jamie here, he said he's a modern day Indians to complete that many hoops. Uh, well, he's only going to take and share with you five here today because of the smaller time frame we're on out here for each show. But what he's going to do is take these hoops and place them flat down on the stage, pick them up one at a time with his feet, and go through them and share with you several different designs and formations. Now, if you folks see or recognize a design that you like, you let him know with a round of applause, all right? That's what he likes is that applause. In this dance, he gives honor to Mother Earth. Everything that has been given to us by the Creator here on Mother Earth. Uh, you'll have to use your imaginations just a little bit, but I'll call out a few of these designs as we go along. Bullet for the Mighty Eagle, the Horse, the Butterfly, the Snake, the Turtle, the Waterfall, the Hummingbird, uh, the Stairway to Heaven. He might even show you an alligator. Boy, well, you never can tell about Jamie here. Now, uh, in the end of this dance, he's going to share with you how everything is connected in life how we're all connected as one as God's children by holding the world in his hands. And Jamie said if you give him a lot of applause right here in the beginning, he just might show you Mickey Mouse. Ain't that right, Jamie? The butterfly. At this time, he's going to share with you how we're all connected as one by holding the world in his hands. Hoop dancing. All right. Good job there, Jamie. Awesome hoop dancing. Did